I never meant to cause so much hurt. I know I lied over and over, but the love I felt, the passion, that was real, especially for Simone. You have a child with Leela. But the history I have with Simone. I took pity on you. I could have left you to rot, but I didn't. God was looking down on you. He saved you for a reason. But can you change? That's what I want to know. That's why I brought you here. It's the kiddies, you see. That's who I worry about. Little Daniel. I love Daniel more than anything in the world. Really? That's what he used to say. My father was a gruff man. A farmer. A no-nonsense type. <laughs> I used to watch him herd the pigs towards the abattoir with a big stick. He used to shout at them to keep them in line. It was quite scary, but I respected him too. They're animals. They need to be bossed about. My mum, on the other hand, me, what did we do to deserve that? He used to hit you. The first time it happened, it didn't seem real. I was stood in that doorway and he was holding her roughly, fist clenched. I thought it was a game, a joke. And then I saw the tears in her eyes. Oh, Breeder. And he screamed at me, get out! And I thought to myself, you do not talk to me like that. What happened to him? He was a drunk. He fell downstairs one night, banged his head dead. Hm. No less than he deserved. But you, you kept his picture. As a reminder, I survived the worst dad ever. No kid should ever suffer like I did. Hang on a minute. That's not me. I'm not like your father. How are you any different? I've never hit anyone, beat anyone. I've barely raised my voice. I don't need to sit here getting criticised. You don't get to tell me who, who I can love.